know, I'd like to get that trained out, right? Something that has a little bit more float, right? So, I mean, it's nice. I think you're moving quite well. Face is pretty managed. Pelvis turning pretty well. Club just gets a sliver, just a sliver, right? And then you're and then you fit it in a little with the tiny, tiny, tiny handle raise. But I bet you played some pretty good golf because that looks like it's decent. You know, you said 39.45 or whatever it is. Um, I know I'm always kind of battling with where this left wrist is on on the club. I like it just a sub, just a bit more bend back, and a, and that wrist joint a hair more right on top of the grip. So if I run this, you know, straight up the shaft, right, that could just be a fraction more on top compared to where it is now. Face on relationship, you know, a lot of good stuff there. Moving the body, rotating, extending, really good. So Jim just wants a bit more freedom in this. Like, I can see where he's talking about. So let's get on the mat. Do you have a plane mate? Am I training you do? Okay, cool. Let me show you how I want you to kind of get a little bit more because this will help you fight it a little bit and kind of gather the info I'm looking for. So let me put it on a club. Oh, are they? Okay. Gotcha. So let's put the club head imaginary ball right there. Good. So there's some tension in the band, right? So the feels for you, I want you to exaggerate this sense as you turn back see how this kind of feels more extended in the wrist and how there's like way more because i want this sense of let your eyes keep looking down and i'll let you look in a sec way more opportunity for this connector to go up here and kind of float behind you as you unwind to hit one right so the connector feels like it's way outside the hands way more up way more float and then some rotation and then go ahead and give me that example with a practice swing is an exaggerate the daylights out of one for me. Okay, and put it up at speed and go to a finish. Okay, let's have a look. See if that's the exaggeration I'm looking for, and then I'll I'll do it to kind of talk to you about it here. Let's say. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an exaggeration on here. We'll look at both. This isn't that exaggerated, by the way, and it's something I work on a lot because I get a little a little bit this way myself. Okay. Saving. Okay, groovy. So let's put you versus you plane made on right so we're going to go to p2 and stop arguably i'll go to p2 and stop okay so that's certainly certainly different now what i want to see is the hands just a hint more in when we do that see what i mean left hand more in club more out but that's you know certainly way more vertical here at P3, isn't it? Okay, way more vertical. And I didn't mind this swing at all, to be fair. That's why I was like, wow, that's pretty good. And then you can see this how much different this is at P5, P5 to P5, the pitch of the shaft, right? It's a massive difference. Now, if I pop my example in here, now I'm at, this is an exaggeration, no doubt about it, right? But watch the hands go a bit more in. You know, they're not traveling away from me when I have this. You know, so my hips are turning. Instead of hands reaching out, my hands are a little bit obscured. My body obscures that look a little, right? So my left arm is just angled a little bit more in here. Yours is pretty vertical. I mean, it's not bad, but you get the point. So I'm going to exaggerate the daylights out of this relationship of where this connector and where it has an opportunity to go. 
pretty similar there. And then as it gets vertical, that connector can go and start to shallow behind me. In this rhythm of unwinding, this is kind of how a baseball player. So imagine if I was kind of looking at a pitcher right now, and I like the pitch, that the bat would shallow as I unwound, right? But in golf, it's you know it's going to look a little different, right? So this is a way that, that thing right there. Now as you unwind that, boom, this is you know I'm watching that face behave pretty well. Overtake. Now it got a little crisscrossy, right? Like that band got crisscrossy. Now watch where I go. Like it doesn't really crisscross because I'm still rotating. Make sense? Okay, show me. And I would say I wouldn't hit these off the grass for a while. I'd put them on a half inch tee until you felt like yeah, you got some mastery on this. Get your good mitts on there. The one little thing, right, was this uh, left wrist. Beautiful. That's it, right? Perfect. So hands a bit more in, club stays out, right? So that's an, uh, this is an exaggeration, but that's okay. Stand up the connector, and then we're going to let this thing kind of fall behind us as we rotate and mash one, right? And miss a few. Who cares? Show me that exaggeration, because I want this exaggeration to be a part of your practice from time to time. Okay, so hands in, stand up the connector. Go ahead and hit one. Yeah. Awesome. Let's take a look. So now, like you've been to, this is your third event with us, right? And it's your third, yeah, third. So now that it's easy to coach you, frankly, because they can say, do this, you do this. It's awesome. You know, can, so there's hands in, gorgeous, right? Perfect. Okay. There's standing up the connector, there's shallowing. Like that's that's money. Okay, hands in. Now from here you can't really. There's a more vertical shaft that's shallowing, and then you've got to unwind that. There's a bit of shaft lean, and there's some continuation of pivot. This is a damn good golf swing. Okay, so you kind of see the little freedom we want, and so that little you know moving the connector about. I'll just take it here to here. Oops. Right, so this this awareness of this, you know, where that connection goes, like it's out, hands in, outside, vertical, and then this is like me waiting for a pitch that I like, right? The bat shallows is on, yeah. Too many golfers have a little bit. So you had just a dangerous amount of this, and Jim said you were getting too, a little too much out out there. In here, I saw a little bit, right? I want to exaggerate, hands in, get the connector up, let it unwind, look. Enjoy the pitch and turn on that pitch. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome. You want just use that uh, plane mate, or do you have one with you? Yeah. Okay. 